Look at this mess. Kind of embarrassed to even show you guys this. Shoes all over the place. And then down here, more shoes and stuff. So we're gonna have to organize this whole thing and show you guys also a better way to organize them and ship out your Ross finds. What's up guys, Glenn with Hustler Hacks. If you have a lot of Ross finds like I do, I get it. They could be all over the place if you don't have them organized. So we're gonna start off by shrink wrapping the shoes getting them nice and organized, nice and clean. We'll put them up in the closet. You can see every uh, shoe that you're selling, all the shoes that you have active right now on eBay, and then a quick little easy way to ship them out. So this is what we want our end result to be. Nice, clean, shrink wrap shoes. And you can get this plastic wrap at Target or at Walmart and uh, pretty cheap. I think only like three or four bucks and a nice, what, square hundred, uh, 400 square feet. So uh, quite a bit will last you a good while so nice and tight and uh, when you put those out to ship you won't have any problems you won't have to put them in a uh, Walmart bag or Target bag or something like that um, you can just put them in just like this and it looks um it looks uh, nice and clean for the customer so we're gonna do this to all of the pairs that we have active right now and we're gonna organize them in the closet all right so we're gonna wrap them first um, I, ha I start off with a little bit on the uh, right shoe we're gonna go over it so we're gonna go over it this way and then again around the other way over and over again until we have them in a nice and uh, tightly wrapped because when they are in the box the uh, USPS box we don't want them moving around uh, we also want them to be nice and clean and covered because we don't want them to get all dirty whether they're in the closet or they are um, in the box shipped or something and sometimes they get all dirty if uh, the box opens or I don't know you can't trust some of the uh, post office stuff so now we have it there um, nice and clean but now we're gonna go over it over uh, this way so we can get the heels and the front of the shoe and then we're gonna go around this way until we get it make sure there's uh, no openings uh, where the shoes can get dirty and just making sure that everything is uh, covered and nice and tight. There you go. So I haven't even gone through all the shoes yet and a huge difference in closet space and organizing the shoes. So we have shrink wrapped uh, quite a bit of them, stacked them up. And then for the shoes that we have multiple sizes for, I just get these regular uh, one by three labels and just put the size on them. So uh, nine Y, uh, seven Y, nine and a half in men's. And uh, you can just stack up these shoes, keep them nice and organized uh, in the closet if you wanna store them there. Um, I also have some underneath the work area that I do, but um, I can also just kind of stack them in there as well. So. The cool part is you just grab, like this one already sold, so these are size 14 Kobe's, huge. Grab these and then they're ready to go to ship already. So let's get these out of the closet and put it into uh, the USPS priority box that we're gonna use. So I would shrink wrap immediately after you take the pictures. So you can already have them stored, ready to go. Take them out of the closet, go to your workspace. Here's where I uh, record a lot of some of the other Ross Finds of the Week videos. Here's our USPS box, the shoe box that I tell you guys to use uh, for shipping. There it is, shoe box. And they're free, you can get a pack of like 30 of them uh, shipped to you and you don't have to hunt for boxes anymore. So it's a one to three days priority mail. Use that, uh, already taped, ready to go. And like I said, they're already shrink wrapped and everything. This is a size 14, huge shoe, and it fits into this box easily. So close it up and you are good to go. Now you just gotta weigh the box. We already have the uh, specs on there of how big the box is, and uh, that is it. So uh, I think when a shoe weighs a certain amount, like over two pounds, usually it's between like eight and $14. Um, also, also it depends on where it's going so if I send it out to like New York area somewhere in the East Coast then more than likely it'd be like 12 to 14 dollar range um, but if it's shipped to Texas same state or 
even I think Utah, I think I shipped out those uh, Ultra Boost and shipping was only like $7.64 or something like that. So I think the lowest it's ever been somewhere else, I think I shipped it to Austin and I think it was some Kobe's. It only came out to like $5.65 or something like that. So it's a great box to use. It can save money on shipping. But most importantly, you can uh, have some room to put your shoes in there, nice and uh, plastic wrap all around it, keeps them clean. Also, what used to what happened to me is that I would just have them kind of all over the place in the closet, and then if they would fall, sometimes they would get scraped against the wall with a paint or something. You don't have to deal with that anymore. You just have them nice and organized, and then just pick them out when uh, they're ready to go and ready to be shipped. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this video, uh, organizing shoes and shipping it out. Um, one, two, three easy steps. And we'll see you guys this Wednesday for the live show. You can ask me any questions on eBay selling, Amazon selling, shipping out stuff on eBay, Ross finds shoes, whatever you want. You can ask me anything. That's 515 Mountain Standard Time this Wednesday. My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks. Go out and get it.